All right, welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Pete. We have another After Effects tutorial today for you guys. In this video, I kind of wanted to recreate that sliding timeline slash animated year effect from the Jeffrey Epstein Filthy Rich docu-series on Netflix. Hello. So, like I said, I wanted to recreate this effect. I'm gonna show you the example of it here in the actual docu-series and then what I'm gonna come, with, come up with in this video. So let's get into it. I got After Effects open right here. First thing you wanna do, go up to composition, start a new composition. Make sure your settings are, I mean, 1920, 1080. Um, your frame rate can be really anything. I'm just gonna name this tutorial. Boom. So first thing you want to do is create your years. And this is really up to you from a font standpoint or like an actual time standpoint. I'm going to stick with like 2010 to 2001 just to keep it relevant um, with this documentary. And, and also I'm going to use Adobe Garamond Pro because it's kind of similar to what they used in the actual docu-series. So let's just start at 2001, space, 2002, space, 2003, space, 2004, space, so once you get all of your years typed out, go to the Align tab and then center it. Second, once you get that done, right click down here, go to Shape Layer and this should bring up your rectangle tool. If it doesn't, hit Q or go up here to this rectangle tool. Anyway, you're gonna go kind of in between the years here and drag it roughly pretty much as well as you can over one of the years. And like I said, this and, and this rectangle will kind of vary in size depending on how big you want it to be and the font you pick, whether it be a smaller or flat font, whatever it be. After you get that drawn though, you wanna center it with your composition like you did the text. Go down to your text layer, your years, over to track mat, hit this drop down, and then go to alpha mat. And, like, and after that, you can see that it's just showing up in this box. Here. So if you hit P on this layer, which brings up your position, you can scroll and see your timeline kind of taking shape. So I'm going to start here. What you want to do is get to the year you want to start at. I'm going to start at 2008 and then go to one second in your composition. Hit P, hit this little clock to make a keyframe and then go like, let's say two seconds. So go to three seconds and then drag this, I'm gonna go all the way to 2001. So there you go. If we play this out, we can see that animation is kind of, it doesn't look natural. So what you wanna do is drag, select both these keyframes, right click, go down to keyframe assistant and easy ease. And what that'll do is make the animation kind of ease in and ease out, you know, like real life, life physics and motion. So if we play, See, that looks a lot more natural. So now that you have that, and it, as you see when it's scrolling, it's kind of a straight line there at the edge, like if that makes sense. Like, And in the example I showed you, the edges are kind of feathered. So go to effects, go to crop, crop edges and drag it onto your shape. And this is, you're gonna have to play around with a little bit. You just basically want it kind of fading at the edges, if that makes sense. You don't want it going straight into a straight line. I'm gonna try and drag this up to like, Let's say 45. Let's just try 40 and 40. See how that looks. See, I want it a little bit more feathered. Okay, so it's a little bit on the edges there. As I keep playing around with it, it's a little messed up. So what I'm gonna do is make that shape a little bigger and then realign it. And then you get more room to work. Okay, so like I said, you're gonna wanna play around with this a little bit to your liking and how much you want it feathered and the size of your font all depends on that. But I have it pretty much where I want it to be. 43, 45, that's what seems about right, looks about natural. To make this sliding animation even more natural, you wanna go to your text layer here, go to see where these motion blur three dots are, click that. And what that's gonna do is add a little blur to make it look more natural to the human eye. Now, the second part to this whole animation is the location kind of flipping in. And that's what we're gonna do right here. So you wanna create a new text layer and I'm just gonna do Palm Beach 
Florida. Align it and center it. Drag it to your liking. And then what you wanna do is see this little box here, this little cube, make it a 3D layer. But basically that'll change it up. So now you have, you're on a three plane axis, if that makes sense. So in the example, as the numbers are scrolling, this kind of starts to come in. So what you want to do is pick a little point in your animation when the text kind of flips in and you want to go over to this orientation tab. If it doesn't come up, just drop this down and it should come up and transform. When you're in orientation, kind of scroll this back to like, I would say 270, 270. And then go back up to zero. And as you can see, that text will kind of flip up. You want to do the same thing. Add your easy ease things and motion blur. And what I did is hit T for opacity, make a keyframe, make it go down to zero. And then as it's coming up, as that text is flipping up, move a couple frames and you want to adjust these to however your text comes in. And there you go. And from there, you are pretty much done. So there's your timeline. If you want to export this, you go into file, add to render queue, and this part's important. So you can put it into Premiere with no background. In output module, you go click this little arrow, go to lossless with alpha, and that'll eliminate the background and you can pretty much put it on any video you want. Whether it be a drone video of a beach, a time lapse, or even photos, whatever you want, you can do it. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope I was able to provide some value and give some value back to you all. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe because I work hard on this YouTube channel to provide content, whether it be vlogs or tutorials. Nonetheless, I'll see you guys in the next video. Much love. Peace.